Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Gate Ruler Dawn of the Multiverse Alliance booster box opening. This is the brand new card game brought to us by the creator of Future Card Buddy Fight. I think it's really, really awesome that he immediately started up a brand new card game. The artwork looks very reminiscent of Future Card Buddy Fight, especially the cover card, Magvarius. It's one of the cards I definitely want to pull. One of the most awesome looking cards in the new box, in my opinion. But this new card game focuses on, you know, you make the rules. That's the big part of the game, and each different deck that you play has a different play style, so no two decks will be alike. I'm very excited for that play style of this game. Each box comes with 36 packs and 10 cards per pack, so we can expect a lot of cards from this one box with, you know, the whole set just being, I think, 132 cards. So with 36 packs, we definitely have a lot to open up, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to try and, you know, preserve the box as best as I can. don't want to damage it. It looks really, really awesome. I think it's one of those boxes that has three rows of packs so a good amount there and once again we'll try and open it as best as we can but yeah with uh you know the art of future card buddy fight lives on in this card game i think he did a good amount of the art for the entire box and if i remember correctly i'm not sure if i can you know open this correctly like the display says to do let me see if i can at least not damage the box there we go and perfect so i think some of the packs got disheveled but you do get a promo of what i believe is a actual card you'll get in the pack so those of you who don't know there's a summoning cost in this game there is hp as well as the critical basically what this card does to your opponent and the damage that can deal so this is a pretty powerful card as well it is viola furiosa raging fell dragon awesome and if those of you don't know the backs uh when i open an actual pack uh give a real feel to buddy fight with just with the texture on the back of the cards and i'm glad they kept that with the english variant of the pack as well so yeah take a look at that that feels and looks amazing for the new gate ruler cards awesome and let's see how we start off the pack we have the specialist spotter giraffe as our first card there are four different worlds currently as well this is for the blue world atlas and I believe stars are what determine the rarities on the card. So this is a one star. We have uh, Selkirk, Cat Sith for our next Atlas card. And yeah, 10 cards per pack. I think the Japanese ones have five. So the fact that they gave us double the amount for English is pretty awesome. We have Interdimensional War. For those of you who don't know, these are field cards. You can play as many field cards as you want on the field. And then there are other event cards, ones that basically uh, make up uh, basically the spells for this game, uh, like Buddy Fight. We have Type 100 Tank and Harbinger Moth. And yeah, there's the, I think like this is a generic card. This is the new uh, card. I don't actually remember the name for the red uh, zone. Uh, it's a two word name, but as you can see in the bottom, it is kanji and not the actual, uh, you know, uh, world like Atlas showed. We have Magical Universe, I believe is what the pink ones are called. They have the little UFO symbol here. Black Hole Alert, it's a two star. We have uh, Colonel, Big Wig, Al. So it looks like a lot of the Atlas ones have this sort of like silhouette kind of look to them. And we have another event, Flying Shield, and a foil, three star, Sword of Destiny. So yeah, all the foils are determined by uh, the stars here. And we have a GG Armament Factory for our other uh, field card. And this is a, an event card, awesome. So you basically, in this game, you set the event cards and then activate them when at the given time, they say on the card. And then, like I said, the field spells, you can activate as many, and I believe they just stay on the field but i'll definitely want to be picking up the rules a little more and then hopefully get some games on the channel as well but like i said with 36 packs i don't want to take too too long so we'll quickly go through a good amount of them a lot of them are sideways so we have to turn a few there we have swordsman of sacred blade uh just a flesh wound for a is an event yep we have Scar Squad, Hannibal, Razor. Definitely a lot of the Magical Universe ones look pretty awesome. Private Recon, Buck. Scare Squad, Sharko Morph. The Buster Clothesline. Uh, Fell, Wolverine. 
Oxyone Rago. And we have another foil, so I'm wondering if it's one foil per pack, but this looks like a three star as well. Sergeant First Class Rampart Elephant. And we have, oh my goodness, is this, no, this isn't the cover card, but this is another three star Umbrellius Fell Dragon of the Shadows. So I think the Fell Dragons are a big part of the game as well. For those of you who don't know, I'll be doing another opening with the starter decks. And one of them is Summon the Fell Dragon. So that's a big theme for this one. Well, the other one is Giant. Giant mechs and yokai in space. Well, this will be another separate video where I'll be opening those two. But let's continue on. It looks like, yeah, all these packs are all over the place. So hopefully. And like, as I love the backs of these cards. It's a real feel for future card buddy fight also. But Forbid is another event card. Uh, Arcane Innovator. Uh, right of the Cardinal Cleansing. And we have Normandy Joint Military Exercises. Uh, Criminal Henchman. Guiding Paladin. And this is one of the new gate rulers. This is basically what you'll use as your starting flag in the game, just like Future Card Buddy Fight. It gives you and determines your HP in the game, how much you yourself, the fighter, can attack for, and basically what your rules for the game are with your starting gate ruler. So pretty awesome. We have Golden Ring Dancer Paula, another three star. So I'm guessing either three or four stars, count of maybe like super rares or double rares in the game. We've got a foil per pack also, but Scare Squad, Capo Horror, uh, flick and we have mr obsolete this is a tool star so we got three foils from one pack also i'm definitely gonna have to look up if they've changed the foil ratio for english as well but we've gotten a lot of foils so far from just three packs but it's definitely gonna feel like a long video but i've had long ones in the past just want to uh, give as much detail as i can throughout the video golden hound galactic etan momen uh, right Grand Ablution. So we might get a good number of different cards shown already. So I'll quickly just go through them. Hopefully you all can see them. We have Aether Ray Gun. It's another event card. Uh, Smithereens, Becky, Intelligent Officer. And another one, Right of Grand Attribution. So yeah, it looks like just some of the cards can be foiled. This is actually a four star. So it's pretty awesome there. So definitely a good one for the Atlas uh, world. There's no real order because, I, like I said, I think that hopefully organizes the box a little more. And also you can see the age for this game is 13 and up, so definitely a little older than what Future Card Buddy Fight was advertising. And once again, sorry for some of the sideways cards. There's a good amount of them. Yakumi of the 100 Eyes. I'm going to point out just a lot of them look cool to me. This is another one of the gate rulers. We have Squire, Knight, and also uh, High, Highlander. That's it. The three different ones from the pack. I believe there's the male silhouettes and then also the female silhouettes. I might be wrong, but we got plenty to go through. We have Blast Mage, Wolf, and we have Tatari, Ja. This is foil also with Exo Armor, Tank Unit, Masurao, double O, not double O, two for our next card. So you have plenty of foils I've seen and three star, two star and another three star as well. So I'll have to look back on, they have the rarity on the bottom. Uh, one of the big rarities, I think you get one per box. It might be different with the English release, but the legend rares, and that was is what Magvarius is also, is a legend rare and potentially an uber rare. So we have Norwegian Forest Cat Sith for our uh, next starting card. We have Neptunian Yukiona, uh, Brutaros, I get a real vibe from a good amount of these different cards from Future Card Buddy Fight, like just with some of the art styles as well. We have Shadow of Hades, another four star. And we have this, uh, does it even have a star? Did they make a mistake and forget the star on this one? Nose Feratu Soldier, awesome. But yeah, look, there's no star on the bottom. I was wondering, since it is the first booster release, there might be some mistakes with some of the cards. I'll have to double check. There is like a question mark rarity. So potentially, maybe I just pulled something pretty good. I read up mostly on the rules, but I uh, haven't actually seen any other English releases for this game yet. So I'm curious to see uh, just what the rarity changes or just the foil ratio changes for a lot of these cards are. We have Sergeant Major, Buster Kong, four star. And we have a two star Fell Wolverine. So maybe just, it feels like I've pulled the Fell Wolverine. Maybe they just, you know, have all the cards have a potential to be foil. In this pack, I think star rarity is a big thing to go off of with this game. So let's see. Next pack, we have Neptunia, Yukiona, uh, Brutaros, Steel Storm, uh, Right of the Iron Strength. A lot of these, like I've seen, I've already seen already. So we'll quickly go through them. To the foils, that looks like a new one. Star Sphinx, Oxy Oni, Tenro, 
Another foil, Umbrellus, Fell Dragon of the Shadows, three star. And, oh, nice, another four star. This looks like it's for Magical Universe, Space King Arthur of Cosmo Camelo. Awesome. And look, it, it even shares some of the effects from Future Card Buddy Fight. This card has double attack. So basically, you deal damage to your opponent's uh, monsters or your opponent themselves. And with it, double attack obviously means that uh, they can attack twice. There's even a effect in this game that's similar to Soul Guard. So... Basically, if you reduce their HP down to zero, they still stay on the field. They just drop the card that was underneath them. Mizukaze Tengu Sentry. I know there's a lot of vanillas because this is the first booster set. Like, this is a vanilla just with the HP, attack, and critical as well. Uh, Tally Ho Dog. It's an awesome name. We have Crime Knots Space Syndicate. And we have another Magical Universe, Liger from the ID. Sweet. It's a four-star. And a one-star Banshee, so that's pretty simple there for Banshee. And moving right along. I was curious also, uh, you know, who, uh, for the English release, who created the game. I know it's not a Bushy Road game, but still pretty sweet. Uh, another Selkirk, just to see who invented it. It feels like I'm getting a lot of Harbinger moths also. It is just a one-star. But uh, we have a Collateral Damage for a two-star. I love the art on this. I've seen her on a few arts also. Almost looks like a, like a devil Red Riding Hood. And we have Kami's Vessel, a four-star. I, I have seen this card. Very awesome. And we have a Private Recon Buck Foil. So, yeah, I think I've pulled this card non-foil. So there's just maybe a good chance that the last two cards are all foil and depending on the rarity but i want to see hopefully if i'm lucky i'll pull magvarius if they changed it since there's just way more cards in this set for uh maybe we'll pull more than one legend rare in the set for like the sp in the set they're called uber rare so once again i apologize it's just a little difficult to always be turning the cards to the side we have a sword of destiny and we have, oh, there it is. And this is actually an uber rare. I was just about to mention that. This is Magvarius Grand Dragon Pentarch of the Inferno. Awesome. As you can see down below, it has the four stars, but there's also an L there for the legend rare. But normally he would have the yellow foiling, but this is the kind of metal foiling for an uber rare. Awesome. That looks amazing. I love the foil shine that it gives off and this is a it's basically a one of in the deck with this little symbol here it means you can only run one of this card in the deck that looks amazing with that back texture that is awesome i wanted to pull this card i'm really really glad i did it looks amazing and that early on in the video that is great and like i said it's the cover card a very very powerful card at that and so much so that you can only use one of it in the deck but sweet i'm glad i was able to pull it definitely makes all the opening worth it. I'm curious though, just what the ratios are. And I don't even know, does an uber rare take up a spot? We'll have to keep opening to find out. That looks hilarious of an art, unexpected wormhole. I'm hoping these cards give as much of a story as, you know, future card buddy fight provided as well. We have Mikage, the winter godmother, and Sergeant Major, Buster Kong. I heard somewhere that Force of Will, the same company that made Force of Will, uh, you know, made these packs also. I don't know if that's true or not. I just have to, I can't even tell on the box uh, where. It looks like they were made in Singapore, which is where a good amount of cards, like Card Fight Vanguard and all of them are made. I don't believe Force of Will is made in Singapore. That's my only uh, deterrent against that. There's Mr. Obsolete again. And we have Space King Arthur of Cosmo Camelot and a Harbinger Moth foil. So yeah, it looks like you just pull a bunch of foils per pack and they'll vary depending on the cards. But hopefully I pull a good amount of cards that I can build a good amount of different decks. The fact that I pulled Magvarius makes me very, very happy. The fact that I pulled him in Uber Rare is just all the better as well. It even has just kind of like a small texture on the silver foiling on it. So very, very nice. So here's a Hydra Familiar. I think that's my first of that card. Robot Assistant, Podzim. Uh, Coleco, Ketsif. And Yomajin, Expeditionary Force. I'm curious what... Because also, with this game and the Gate Rulers, you basically have... Awesome. Uh, this is a four-star. We have Albavolt, Platinum Grand Dragon, and a Foil, Rite of Iron Strength. With this game, uh, depending on your Gate Ruler, you can choose... Um, between two different factions, that's what they're called, not worlds in this game, but factions. And depending on the one, I'm hoping we pull the Halbringer uh, Gate Ruler, just for the fact that 
That one allows you to run three different factions. This is another one of the knights. And we have space journalist, crystal, foil, uh, GG armament factory, and we have a ether ray gun. So looks like this guy looks pretty familiar to the magical universe. I'm curious. He almost reminds me of Whole Horse from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. But I'm curious because I get a real magic world buddy fight vibe from magical universe. So I am curious as to if he will be part of, you know, like the Asmodee kind of theme for Magical Universe. I guess I'll have to look more into the lore as well. But, oh, nice. I think this is the Highlander. Yep, there it is. So this one lets you run three different factions, but the big thing of this card is you can only run uh, basically one uh, of each card. And also with it, you basically have the option for uh, running three different factions in your uh, deck. I wonder if you can get these as foil also. That'd be pretty cool. Spirit of Sakura, Aras Rule of the Sky, and we have Dimensional Traversal Arc. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do my homework on a lot of these different cards, but I think we're through a good amount of the box already also. So let's see how we do. We have a Shields Up for Magical Universe as well. I almost want to call these ones Legend World. I don't remember what world these ones are for. They also have basically attributes at the top, whether it be magic or part of the supernatural, like this one as well. Sweet. But looks like we're getting up on some foils. We have Abyssal Conductor, Algihieri, and we have Normandy Joint Military Exercise for the foils. I know I have the starter decks open, but I just really wanted to open this booster box just to see how some of my pools would be. And I'm very happy that I pulled an Uber Rare, of all things, from my box. I don't know, maybe it's one Uber Rare per box with the English ones. I'll have to wait and see if anyone else is going to have any openings. I've seen this one before, Volatile Space Mimic. And Foul Wolverine as well. We have White Dragon of Wales and Spirit of Sakura. Did I pull this from the same pack? I don't think so. But I am a big fan of the red faction and also the yellow faction. So if I can make a deck that focuses on two those two factions in one, I'll definitely be happy with those results. Once again, apologize for all the sideways cards. If they look new, I'll turn them to the side, but it feels like I've gone through a good number of them. We have Viola Furiosa again and Jack the Ripper for the Atlas foil from that one. It looks like the pot. We're going to have 360 cards total with all these packs. So, and I usually the decks vary from 40 to 50 cards, so that should at least make for a good couple of decks for me to make between me and my friends also. So, let's see. Colonel Bigwig Al, not foil, but the mechanized dragon Victor is, and also the Aras Ruler of the Skies. Yeah, the star rarity is just what you want to keep an eye out for, but I think we can't get much better than the Magvarius Uber Rare at that. And like I said, it's a one of for deck, so it's really all you need as well. We have a Schrodinger's Cat, very, very cryptic. And, oh, look at that. That's a double pull there. We've got two Schrodinger's Pet Cats. This one looks different. It almost looks like the foiling on the bottom looks clear, while this one still has the border. So kind of like borderless in a way. Sweet, though. Same card, same pack. First time I think I've seen that happen for this box. And... Let's see here. There's, I think I have my playset of Norwegian Forest Ketsith also. And let's see. A lot of Atlas cards, but there's only four factions, so should be a good amount for all. We're getting those double packs now also. But this one looks pretty similar. Does this one have gold foiling and this one has just normal foiling? I think that's the difference there. You can kind of tell by the corner up above, but it's the same. Masaro Exo Robe Armor Fusion Form Congo. Once again... Very nice. And I think they've confirmed a second booster set in Japan. Uh, there's not one yet uh, confirmed for when we're getting it in English, but hopefully soon. I'm hoping this card game will kick off. We have a Dragonoid Dreadnought, RM Misaki, and a Foil Hydra Familiar as well. So I think I'm going to split the piles up just because I don't want any of them to fall over. Got a good number of packs left, but it looks like we're making good time. Didn't want to go through each individual card if I didn't have to. And like I said, I think we're getting a good number of doubles so far as well. We have a Scare Squad 
and also at, I thought, Zap Zap Zap. That is the best name for a card I've seen from this as well. He looks like he's from, no, is this, yeah, this is Magical Universe. I almost thought it was the Red Faction, but this is Magical Universe. You can see all the different cards there. They definitely give some spirit to the cards with that art style, so very cool. For those of you that don't know, we have the, uh, they have revealed that we'll be getting a third and fourth uh, starter deck, and the arts on those cards basically resemble Jackknife and Yami Ghetto. We have Captain OMG. I was wondering what they would turn the English name for this card into, but Captain OMG. It was something very similar to that, but Captain OMG for English. And we have a Jaunting. This is a pretty good card. There's almost like a dodge aspect in this game where you can dodge an attack, completely leaving your monster untouched. And that's basically what that card is for. Is that my first of that card also? I believe so. Hopefully, it's not too big of a rarity. Is it a no? Up, oh, just is it a one star? It doesn't look like there's a star on this one again. I wonder if that's a mistake on their part. If they just have done that with a couple of their cards, because that's the second card I've seen now that's missing a star rarity on it. But up, oh, you can you kinko of the snow. There's another banshee, but that one's a common. Uh. Ether Raygun, and we've got Exosuit Titan Gusha Dukoro, four star, sweet. And we have a Yoboku, the Midnight Watch. For those of you that don't know, this is actually a card that you can get in the start deck. So it looks like there are some cards you can get from the start deck, as well as in the actual booster set. Interesting. But looks like we've got four packs there and uh, six packs here. So 10 packs total. We've already gone through 26 packs. I think some of my longest videos on the channel are 30 minutes, so I think we'll make good time with that. Army Magus Jake. And let's see what we got here. We have an Alice Wonderland Avenger. It's another four star, but I was hoping we'd pull this art wise as well. Love the art. Always been a fan of Alice. They gave us Alice in the final packs of Future Card Buddy Fight, so giving us her in this game also is pretty great. And we have Heart Suit Assault Team Jinra for the Red Faction as well. I gotta remember the name of the card. The fact that they didn't put them on the actual card makes it a little more difficult. I remembered some of them, but there's only four. So I'll make it my mission to remember them for the next video. There's another Yukinko of the Snow. Banshee. This pack's looking pretty similar again. Let's see. We have a Solar System Backpacker. And, oh, nice. We have another Alice. This one almost looks different from the rarity as well. Is it gold text? Nope. Looks like they're both gold text. But the fact that we pulled... Uh, yeah, it looks like this one has gold stars down below, and this one has just the white stars. I'm curious because there was like a question mark rarity on the bottom of the pack, so I wonder if that has anything to do with it as well. Hopefully I can pull a few more gate rulers also. Like I said, I wonder if they... I only thought it was like a rumor maybe of the female silhouettes. We have a collateral damage and another zap, zap, zap. And Westcalot Imperial Legionnaire. So yeah, this Zap 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 has four stars. I don't think it was Zap 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 that was missing the stars from before, though. Looks like these boxes slowly opening up. And let's see how we do. That Uber Rare might have been the only pool, or you know, taking up the Legend Rare spot as well from the box. But I'm okay. It was the one I wanted to see. We have Shiori. Ladia, Imperial Magus, and we have a Stromancy for this pack. A lot of these cards I'm familiar with. I tried to read up on as many of them as I could, but still, a uh, big fan of a good amount of the art in this game. A lot of them, you know, sticks with me. Up oh, there it is. Nice. This is the Highlander, and this is the female silhouette. Awesome. I, I, the white border as well, I guess is how they differentiate. Sweet. Exact same card, just they gave us female silhouettes also. We have a Sergeant First Class Rampart Elephant, a Spartan Panzer Marines, and Blast Mage Wolf for this pack. So I'm glad I pulled at least one of them, and it was the Highlander, which the Highlander, once again, is an interesting deck for the fact that you run one of each card, but you can run three factions, and it basically plays like the Squire as well so let's see how this pack we're winding down as well there's another collateral damage oh this card looks awesome it is thousand year sakura look at that just the i i love the fact that they made these cards sideways just so they can focus so much more on the art as well and we have oxy oni tenro for the next foil and once again that gives me such a vibe of buddy fight but i'm not complaining because that looks amazing and we got a couple packs left. Let's see how we wrap this up. Shields up. And 
Lost Sideways cards there. And let's see. Now we finish off. Yeah, oh my goodness. Like this whole pack was just event and field cards. We have Lord and Exator. And we have an Interdimensional War. I think this might have been from my first pack also. Or it might have been an Atlas card from that one. All right, three packs remaining. Let's see. I think Magvarius might have taken up the Uber Rare spot. Or just, you know, like the Legend Rare pool. But let's see. The fact that you also get the box topper promo, very, very nice, because it could be any one of the cards in the actual pack also in promo form to pull. Yuki Kuno, Banshee, and we've got Mr. Obsolete, Maiden of Bleached Bones, a four star, and we also have Midas G. Goldberg. I remember this art also. Gave a real Mr. Invincible vibe from it. All right, two packs remaining. Let's see, I, guess I'm, I don't know what I'm expecting, but... I'm very happy I got in a good number of pulls that I can't wait to start building decks with also to play. And we've got Mr. Obsolete. We have GG Armament Factory. And we have, oh, nice. It is a foil for the Gate Ruler and is for the Knight class. Awesome. So you, that confirms that you can get the Gate Ruler in foil. Looks like I got a good amount of them also and one of each as well. If I can get one more, I think I've got five total. But I think you also get some from the start decks. So, final pack. Let's see what I get. And we have Army Magus Jake. Remember him? Oh, nice. Here's another one of the female ones. And this one's for the Knight. So, yeah, six total from this box. Good way to start off. A Foil Mikage Winter Godmother. White Dragon of Wales. And we end it with a Colonel Bigwig Al Foil. So, it looks like you still stick to the one Legend Rare. Or, in this case, it takes it up with an Uber Rare spot. Very, very happy with the pool. Pooling Magvarius is what I wanted to see from the set because I definitely want to focus on a deck that uses him. And I hope you all enjoyed this opening. This is an awesome card game. Like I said, I was very happy that the creator Buddy Fight moved on to another game. I know it was sad that Buddy Fight ended, but getting able to open his new booster pack was a great experience. I can't wait to open up the start decks as well. So look forward to that video. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and Kira Qualia out.